doing a quick video on, well, I'm gonna try to do as fast as I could video. I'm replacing my daughter's shoelaces from this to this. Now, yes, these, shoe, these shoes have been through a lot. My daughter loves them. She's uh, nine years old. The, uh, I don't want to wash them because I really don't want to wash away any of the sparkly stuff on the actual shoes. So I'm, I'm nervous about doing that if I wash them. And she's not going to be very happy with me if I wash them and it comes off. So, you know, happy daughter, happy life. These are the shoelaces I'm replacing them with. Easy on, easy off shoelaces. I would suggest to you after you switch them out to keep the originals just in case you have to put them back as I don't know how my daughter's gonna like them. And there's another issue. I've done this in the past on my shoes. So I have a couple of pair of sneakers that actually have these laces. The problem is, is that after maybe a year, two, maybe three years, from the wear and tear of, um, I'm in uh, the Northeast, and um, the problem here is the change of weather. And the actual rubber wears and tears after a while, after putting them on from the cold, from the hot, and eventually they start breaking off. The tips start breaking off. I had a couple of them break right down the middle. But hopefully that you know, my daughter won't use these in the winter. She'll be using boots or um, other type of wintery shoes. Me, I wear the same sneakers all the time. So the reason she switched swapping them out, is be or she wants to swap them out, is because of the fact that she wants to be able to slip on and off the shoes without any issues. And what we'll do is we'll swap the take these out. This is what I usually do, double tie them. So we're going to swap them out. And after um, we swap them out, she's going to try them out for about a week. And then I'll hopefully be able to interview her if she feels like it. <laughs> Nine years old. Um, so let me just swap them out real quick. It's going to be real easy. Let me take this out. I'll fast forward this portion. And then um, I'll show you how a couple of these go on. So let me see. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. So it'll probably come up to here, or I might actually use the last one because she may need more uh, flexibility on the top. So let's fast forward. <laughs> Again, my daughter is nine years old, so if that helps you. And what you have to do is you have to slip this in there. Pull on it. Then you choose the sides, uh, the side that you want. This is the uh, smooth side and the rough side. I'm using the rough side since that's what it shows on the actual, this is the way it comes, so I'll do that. Do the same over here. Take some work, but if you keep pulling on it, keep pulling on it, it'll complete and pushing on the other side, it'll eventually make it through. I think it gets easier as you go up since the pieces get larger. So hopefully, let me try a pair of pliers. 
pull on it because it's really difficult to get my, yep, yeah. be careful, pair pliers work just fine. Okay. So I'm now going to just fast forward the rest. And again, we're gonna have to wait a week so I get a better idea as to how she feels. It could be just one day and she just totally doesn't like them. So uh, let me use a pair of pliers just to pull at the edge. Uh, be careful not to break it when you're pulling on it. Okay, perfect. I So we only needed four out of the six. She tried one of them on when I put it on. She says it fits okay. She doesn't feel any tightness because that's my concern is uh, the pressure on her foot not to uh, restrict blood flow. And um, if you, I don't know if you noticed on the fast forward, one of them broke and I was just pulling it with my fingers and they broke off. So they are gonna eventually break. Uh, the thing is that for a short period, of, well, a long period of time, hopefully, uh, at least a season or two, it'll be convenient for her. She'll probably outgrow these by next year. So they, they might la last longer than the shoe will last um, her. Um, so let's see how, they, how well they work. Again, I'll give it about a week and uh, see what she thinks. Or actually, she'll let me know what she thinks. So let's come back in a week. So after seven days, you know, you should let me wash these, but I, I don't know if the glitter stuff will come off. No, I don't care. Well, you don't want it? I don't, I don't care. That's the glitter. Oh, you don't anymore? The glitter? Yeah. I mean, right. you're sure, but like... I don't know if they'll come out or get damaged. I'm not like, sure. Like, as long as I have shoes. <laughs> and as long as they actually kind of look good. Okay. So, for now, we'll just leave them like this. Um, maybe I'll get a chance. Anyway, it's seven days later and I'm finishing off the videos and I'm thinking of putting this on another. I think you have another pair of sneakers, do you? Uh, no. No, we have to get, okay, we have to get her another pair of sneakers. So, after seven days, how, how do you like them? When you use them in school, how, how were they? Okay. They're okay. 
Did you notice any difference? Were they tighter than the regular shoelaces? Or kind of. Kind of? They're good. They're good? So you're able to slip them on and off easily? Right? Yeah, but... And that's what you like about them? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, they can't hear you. Uh... Let me have that. Okay. Can I just finish this off and then you can look around? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So, uh, slipping them on and off, A plus? Uh, sure. <laughs> Walking with them, running with them, any issues? No. Have they fallen off? No. Not falling off, nothing. So, they're holding as well as your regular shoelaces? Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you. For